Hi, Dave here, uh, Kemp, Pref Kemp professor in uh, Western Pennsylvania. Uh, Lid, Lid Motor on uh, YouTube had a couple of uh, videos dealing with uh, stainless steel uh, rechargeable cells and uh, he had the stainless scouring pad and there's all kinds of stainless steel grades uh, this uh, the scouring pads that you find in the dollar store are uh, magnetic very low if any nickel content uh, of course chromium is there uh, and I decided to uh, pair such an electrode with other materials uh, over here I have the stainless scouring pad paired with steel wool. It's in, they're all in uh, Epsom salt water electrolyte. And you get a nice potential over a volt. This one I like. This is uh, the stainless. You can see your anode is the steel wool. There's probably iron uh, redox chemistry going on, I think, before the chromium. And over here, zinc. Now, what I like about this, it holds its potential. I charged this up yesterday, and it's been holding at uh, 1.45 volts, plus or minus uh, a hundredth of a volt. I like it a lot. Minimal self-discharge. So I'm going to be studying this one in much greater depth. And what I like about this uh, steel wool, I can of course unravel it and wrap it tightly around uh, the zinc to make a rectangular battery, uh, which of course would be insulated by paper of some type or dialysis tubing. Over here we have uh, tin with uh, the steel wool and uh, potential is much lower on that. And then finally over here I want to work with this one a little bit too. I have a tire weight, uh, lead, paired with the steel wall. And uh, I was able to charge this up. I use, uh, happen to have a whole bunch of these ACDC units. And uh, this would deliver 5 volts, 500 milliamps. I charged them up for about uh, three or four minutes. Don't lo let it go much longer uh, because you're presumably going to be generating some hydrogen gas so you can hear it bubbling a little bit. So go easy on the charge, recharge. So I want to uh, see how the lead and zinc perform. And of course I'm using Epsom salt in water, magnesium sulfate, have to hydrate. You really don't want to use acidic electrolytes with stainless steel otherwise you're going to be generating electrolyte bath solutions with uh, chromium and then you're going to dump it down the drain presumably don't do that but here I'm uh, using magnesium sulfate so I'm going to be doing most of the work now uh, with uh, cycles self-discharge internal resistance etc I want to use gel electrolytes um, agar 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 that microbiologists use for uh, growing cultures microbes uh, if you look it up it's an ionic superconductor so I want to take a look at some of the gels like uh, agar and see how well this would perform and I would entrain some uh, magnesium sulfate in there too I like this zinc one I like it a lot and uh, then we'll see how we're doing with the zinc. Right now I'm short circuiting it and uh, got pretty hefty current going through there. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Bye.